Hi YouTube, um, this is just a video about um, her video Armadillo again. Uh, this time I'm focusing on his wheel. Um, so you may never have seen an Armadillo on a wheel. Um, when I first um, bought Herbie I, didn't, I wasn't aware that they could even have a wheel. And then I, I did a bit of extra research and um, realised that quite a few zoos in America that um, keep and breed these armadillos, they have wheels for theirs as a, a really good way of kind of giving them extra exercise. So uh, Herbie, you know, he runs around his cage quite a lot, um, but he also uh, comes out into our living room and has a run around as well. Um, and you would think actually he would get bored in his wheel, but he doesn't, he loves it. Um, what he'll do is he'll wake up in the morning he'll have his food um, and then he'll get in his wheel and he normally I mean you'll see this video that I've done is actually a series of about I think it's 19 or 20 um, times that he gets onto his wheel and he tends to be on it for you know less than a minute usually he'll get on have a run come off and then run about his cage a bit or um, start nest building which he does as well in the mornings um, so yeah, I, I had a look and, and a lot of these zoos have the wheels and they said it is a, a really good way of exercising them, um, but also it just gives them something extra to do, you know, that they seem to find fun. Uh, what I noticed as well, doing this research, they said uh, animals like rabbits um, can't have a wheel because it damages their um, spine. Um, but it's okay for armadillos. If you have a wheel that's too small, I think that's not particularly good for them. Um, but as long as it's wide enough, like this one, um, then it's fine for their spine and they seem to have a whale of a time. So this wheel I actually made out of, it's like a big sort of, um, sort of bucket thing that I bought from uh, home base, I think. And I just cut it down and then I've attached a bearing on the back which is a Lazy Susan bearing. Uh, it seems to be quite smooth and for a while we had the armadillo set up in our bedroom <laughs> and uh, obviously you know, morning and night he'll come out and have a run in his wheel and if you can imagine, you can hear the noise from this, if you can imagine uh, being in bed trying to go to sleep with that going on next to you, it wasn't ideal. Um, so we've ended up um, building him his enclosure in our living room instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the sort of rubber stuff you can see on the wheel, uh, when I first put, put the wheel on, it didn't have that rubber on it, and Herbie was trying to run in his wheel and he was just sliding down all the time. <laughs> it was too slippery for him because his feet weren't gripping. Um, so I put some rubber on, and at first the only rubber that I had was actually some um, car mats that somebody had given me, some like rubber car mats from like a Lotus 7. Um, so I cut those down and I put them on, but they were quite heavy. They were probably about four or five times thicker rubber than what I've got on here now. And um, he would kind of pull at them. They were attached on with rivets as well initially and he spent a lot of time just trying to kind of wreck it by kind of getting his claws underneath and pulling at the rubber and stuff and he did he managed to get half of the rubber off which of course because the rubber was so thick it sort of put his wheel off balance and uh, it meant actually when he tried to run in it he would kind of run half what get the wheel to move about halfway and then it would sort of roll back again because it was so heavy so um so for a while, yeah, he wasn't kind of using his wheel. So I've taken it off and I've put much thinner rubber on. This is just um, pond liner. Uh, and instead of using rivets, because I found it a real pain to um, put them on, I just drilled lots of holes and I just put these little bolts on instead, which I think seems to be much better. Uh, and he seems to like it, and he hasn't been sort of picking at it or anything since, so uh, fingers crossed, it should be alright. Um, but yeah, the the other 
things that I picked up from the websites of uh, zoos that keep bees in America is just about um, giving them extra kind of things that they can play with and stuff that are kind of going to be um, interesting for them. So, I mean, he's got a ball here. I try and alternate the balls um, with various different kind of spiky ones and ones of different texture. And I'm always looking out for more things that he can play with. Uh, and he'll sort of roll about with his ball and he seems to have quite a lot of fun with it. Sometimes he, when he builds his nest, he'll take his ball into his nest with him and he sort of sleeps with it like it's a, a toy or a friend or something. Um, but yeah, if you, if you take him out of his cage and you put him on the living room floor, let him have a wander around the living room, he'll wander off and then he comes straight back to you. Like he basically just goes in a circle and comes straight back to you because he just wants to be tickled all the time. Um, so he seems to he seems to enjoy you know being with people and yeah his second favorite thing apart from that seems to be his wheel uh, he, he does seem to love it and I, I just think if I didn't have his wheel in with him um, I'd kind of feel sorry for him not having it really so if you've got an animal um, that is either an armadillo or something similar um, and you're just thinking of other ways to kind of give it interesting things to do. Uh, obviously check first, because like I say, with rabbits, it's bad for their spine to have a wheel. Um, but do a bit of research, and if you've got an animal where it's fine to have a wheel, I thoroughly recommend um, you know, getting one. One thing I would say is when I looked into buying like proper wheels for him, they were, I think they were something like about £200 or something, really quite expensive. Um, whereas this one, I think I paid about £8 for the bucket and then probably another um, £10 for the Lazy Susan bear. Um, so yeah, much cheaper way of doing it, just make your own wheel. Uh, it's much easier. And it may not look quite as uh, fancy, but it's it does the trick and he seems to love it and yeah if he does wreck it every so often I just take it off and repair it every so often <laughs> but um, yeah I mean I feel very privileged being able to have an armadillo as a pet so, such an unusual pet and like I said one day I really would love to um, breed him so I'm looking out for females all the time they just don't seem to become available. I mean, obviously in America and things, you know, because um, these guys, you know, can be found in Brazil and things, it's probably much easier to get hold of them and keep them as pets, I don't know. But over here, there are not that many people that captive breed them. Um, and I know, like, certain zoos captive breed them and things, but they tend to kind of uh, pass their offspring to other zoos so for kind of members of the public it's not so easy to get hold of them but yeah just one day i've got another cage identical to this one another enclosure that is above this one and um, again like it's got like underfloor heating and things like that and thermostat and i'd love to uh, get a female and put it in there and then just at various times of the year bring her in so she can be in with Herbie so they can uh, hopefully mate and have little babies because the babies are amazing um, that's the other thing is they don't produce many babies so it's uh, another reason why it's so hard to get hold of uh, a female and quite often obviously when they do have babies they have males instead of females so that makes it even trickier anyway I know this video has been uh, just him in his wheel over and over again but I thought um, I would show you it because uh, like I say he does love it um, thanks for watching don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and more of my other animal videos